I'm here at the Lancaster Beignet Company where these Golden New Orleans inspired treats are being made. Let's go find out why these treats are being made in Lancaster and also hear the stories of the small business owner. I'm here with Annie and Colin Dawkins, owners of Lancaster Beignet Company. So Colin, how did you make it happen at such a young age? I mean, to have this establishment that's, you know, pretty busy. We started a Bloody Mary mix company. That was the first company that we started. And that's kind of how we got introduced to like um, having a product in Lancaster, you know, getting um, some like big fans in Lancaster and, you know, big supporters working with the restaurants and breweries and bars. Um, and we were kind of able to build a little following and that was kind of our intro, you know, introduction to brand building um, into like really putting ourselves into our product. Um, so we just learned over the past three years. And is there any challenge to owning a business as a couple? Um, I, I mean, sure, it's like natural to have challenges, but I think that Colin and I care really well. And, you know, Colin's passion is with the brand building and mine is with like physically creating and like being in this space and creating a physical space for people to come and enjoy themselves. And then I think because of that, like we're not together too much or not enough, Do you, you know what I mean? So it's like um, a really good blend between the positions and like we both enjoy our roles where we're at. So talk to me a little bit about the reaction that people have when they find out your ages. Um, some people are shocked and I think like a lot of people are impressed sometimes and say like when my mom was working here she was um, she was our barista, our very first employee and people would come in and just automatically assume like oh this must be your place and she's like um, actually, no, it's Annie and Collins, and then, you know, people would, oh, sorry, just assume, and so it's been a really positive response, I would say, but definitely a lot of people are shocked about our age. So talk to me a little bit about your connection to Beignets. So that's um, my side of the family, my dad's side. Um, he pretty much grew up in Picky in Mississippi, he spent a lot of time there. So my family, we would drive down at least each summer. Um, and spend a lot of time down there eating, eating beignets, eating you know gumbo, um, oh boys, kind of Cajun, Cajun food, and we always just loved it. Um, you can't find it up here really, so yeah. it was something that we thought that we could bring to Lancaster. That's a new thing that we, you know, it's authentic to us. And both of you are thinking about expanding this business and also expanding your menu. So talk to me a little bit about that. I'm excited. Just, um, but we definitely want to expand so that we can have kind of um, say that we're a brunch spot. So just like adding to a little bit lunchier items um, like avocado toast, but on beignets, um, grilled cheese. And dessert. I know you're going to expand upon that as well. How so, Colin? The one that we've talked about is like a mixed berry with you know, whipped cream and just It'll be a really good uh, treat, I think, especially for the summer as it comes up here. Yeah. I would love to see more Lancaster Beignet companies. Uh, I, and, you know, maybe it's Westchester Beignet Company or Hershey Beignet Company. So I think it'd be really fun to expand in that way. So what is it like to sort of balance the life of being business owners and everything else? It was a, a lot. Um, going from kind of making our own schedule, like with the Bloody Mary mix, so we could like make that and fulfill orders at any time. It could be 8 p.m. if we wanted it to be. And so now having um, a schedule, it requires um, a lot more uh, energy, I guess. And in a good way, I think being in here for me is a lot of fun, like interacting with the community, interacting with our employees and all of that. So um, trying to remember, though, that I don't have to be here all the time and that it's OK to like stay back and let everyone else you know, handle everything because they can. But uh, it's a lot of fun. And I think that um, it just kind of almost feels natural. It feels like what we were supposed to be doing. I couldn't imagine anything else. Right now, we use our bread machines to let the dough rise. The frying process is actually pretty quick. It just takes a couple of minutes. So with the beignets, as you can see, they start to puff up. They're getting like a little bit crispy, doing their thing. Eventually their color is going to start to change. 
change, and that's kind of our sign to take it out. Job here? That yes, was perfect. I would love to. <laughs> Could eat these all day. My trip to the Lancaster Beignet Company has been sweet for more reason than one. For the spark, I'm Anaya Falcon. This video was produced for Mosaic by WITF. To help support this project, please visit witf.org/mosaic.